giant, uh, although in a small package, she was amazing. was her ability to deal with those in power without sacrificing a shred of integrity. Well, they're dragging her out. She said to herself, wait a minute, if they're going to drag me out, they better hear me. And so that's when she started No More Prison. The arc of our moral universe is long, but it is bent toward justice. Did not Alice commit to that sentiment? incarcerated for over 26 years. I knew Dr. Green since I was 16, 17 years old. And she was more than a political activist that came into the prison. She always showed me love, and she always showed me that I could do better. I need to push some pressure on Dan McCoy to stop zero tolerance of you of incarceration. That was one of her things. She went out of a big push for reparations. Can we get that done? She said, what are we doing next? And what's next? is a strong center for law and justice. Where did she get that drive, that energy? And so now I feel dedicated to catalog that for college students, young people in the community to say, this is how leadership is made, and you can become a leader. And she's still here, and we're going to push her legacy on. Uh, and if you thought things were going to be sleep, they're not. Just wait. <laughs> Bye.